Guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Iraq. Oh, wait, not Iraq Veteran, Guitarsonal. Got my channels mixed up. Welcome back. We're going to be having a look at the Ren and Cuff Caprid Distortion. This is basically a legendary, awesome sort of revamp of the Ram's Head Big Muff uh, from the 70s that Electro Harmonix uh, used to make. And Electro Harmonix still makes the Big Muff in a variety of different configurations and, and setups, but the Ren and Cuff Caprid is a pretty dang close facsimile, if not, dare I say, maybe I would say even maybe a little bit better than the original Big Muff. Um, Ren and Cuff, they're based out of California. They're doing some really cool stuff. Um, this is a pedal that recently I was uh, demoing in a local music store and I thought it was really cool. Thought I'd pick it up and the sound of this thing is crazy. Um, for getting that sort of rock stuff, it nails it. Um, just that sound. Um, it almost like, in my opinion, it, it kind of kind of screams Smashing Pumpkins in a way, like Billy Corgan, you know, that just, you know, sort of, I don't know, like the way his nuances of playing would just really get that kind of... You know, that kind of, gosh, that sound, you know? And really, this pedal sounds the best cranked. So like where we've got this sustain, that's basically your distortion. Tone, obviously, is tone, and volume, obviously, is volume. So just like the original Big Muff units, the tone is backwards. So to make the tone brighter, you back it off, and to make it darker, you, you go up on it. So that was actually, I guess, like a mistake they did on the early pedals, and they integrated that into the capward as well. And uh, it really just gets uh, some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful sounds. So that's a little Pantera for you. Uh, I'm not a rock guitarist, guys. I'm a blues guy, but that's my take on rock. Take it for what you will. Anyway, um, uh, it, it's just a gnarly pedal. Uh, we're using a 1999 Parker Deluxe. Uh, at this point, I, dare I say, a vintage Parker. Uh, this is one of the original Parkers, baby. And uh, we're into a Mesa Boogie Mark V 100 watt head. We got some nice cleans going. So let me let me just let you hear the cleans on this guitar. Um, without going into a, a, a ton of getting off of in left field or off bass or anything here, this is a very wonderful guitar and gets some very nice sounds. <laughs> so that's the clean tone, and we'll engage, we'll engage the caprid. Uh, every, it peels the paint off the walls. Good for that kind of stuff. It's also good for...
I love it. Um, so another thing, you know, another big user of the big muff pedal are guitarists like David Gilmour. And in a moment, I'm going to use a Stratocaster and I'll try to get a few bits of the sounds. But even on humbuckers, you can just really get those sort of big bends that Gilmour is known for. And the Caprid really kind of dials that in. And we will, we'll fiddle around with the knobs a little bit for you. But, um, I don't know, more of like a... Enough noodling. All right, so back onto this. We're gonna leave the volume kind of where it's at, but you can you can really get into nuclear territory on the volume if you want. Um, these pedals, just because of the way that they're made, they are made very much like the original spec um, Big Muff Ram's Heads uh, pedals are, um, and they are a little bit noisy. But that's just the nature of the way that these pedals. That's what gives these pedals kind of their magic is all these little juicy, weird, flubby, sort of almost. Uh, it almost reminds me of like a ring modulator. Some of those in-between little weird sounds you get on some of these notes remind me of a ring modulator and, and it, it, it kind of makes this sort of weird sound, like a pulsing, throbby sound when you're playing. And it's, it's like no other fuzz that I've ever dealt with and I love it. Um, anyway, let's hear it. So we'll experiment with the sweep of the tone knob. That's about where it sounds good to me. That's about where I like it, about right there. Sustain. I think it sort of gets this weird poopy sound when you when you dial out the distortion a good bit. I don't think it really sounds quite as good, but here it is. Actually, I take that back. It does sound good. <laughs> with the humbuckers, on my Strat, it has a very weak sound, but with these humbuckers on, in this Parker, we'll set the distortion kind of low. And uh, I'm inspired at this point to think almost along the lines of, you know,
even on the lower end of the distortion spectrum, it's still dirty. It's like it doesn't get clean. It never gets clean. Let's see, uh, let's break it down even further and let's see if we can get it to clean up. <laughs> clear mode and then we're switching to a strat all the way up pretty cool I'm not a shredder guy, so bear with me, you know. I'm trying to play some rockish sounding stuff. Um, not bad, I, it really is a killer pedal. I find that for me, especially on a Stratocaster or really any guitar, it sounds pretty much the best with the sustain, maybe about 75 or 80%, get the tone up here in about the 35% territory and get your volume about 40% of the way up. And uh, in my opinion, that gives it the most well-rounded kind of tone. That's my opinion, of course, opinions are what they are. Uh, and again, just real quick. That's a nice sound. It's not br uh, bright or harsh or overly, you know, overpowering. You'll find that with the Strat, we can dial in some really silly kind of, you know, quirky sound and stuff. Uh, with a different kind of clarity, you don't really get out of the humbuckers, in my opinion. Uh, it's hard to explain, but I'll break out my Strat and we'll see what that's about. But uh, not bad there, you know. <laughs> We're going to uh, switch up to a Strat, play with the capper a bit. All right, same everything else. We've got the capper here, and uh, I've got a Mexican Strat. Uh, this one was made like around 2000, uh, so it's a little bit of older, older one. But we got a Mexican Strat here, and it's outfitted with Woodstock 69 pickups, uh, which are uh, Abbey wound. These are some of my favorite Strat pickups. I love them. And let's just see how it pairs up with the capper, shall we? Strats uh, definitely act a little bit different with the fuzz, in my opinion. We'll break out some of the uh, tone here on the uh, treble pickup. The neck pickup doesn't sound terrible. Let's let's give that a listen first. <laughs>
Not terrible. A little muddy sounding, but if that's what you're looking for, it's there. Let's get back to the, uh, I like to run on kind of the bridge pickup. We'll break out a little bit of that, uh, that tone. Let's get that back up where, uh, back up there. <laughs> Not too bad. Um, definitely, definitely a good fuzz, and it really nails those kind of sounds. Really good, in my opinion. Getting into, I guess, sort of the the Gilmore territory. Territory. Listen to me. Territory. You see what I'm getting at there? I'm mixing up my words. My 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 mouth is outrunning my brain, but I promise it's all there. You just have to sift through it. But getting into like some of the the um, let's just say. You look at the song like Time, Pink Floyd, you know. good for that kind of stuff. Those kind of big sort of ethereal, just crazy ringings of notes, you know. Like you can take a sort of... stuff you know I'm not playing it all that great but you get the idea and uh, anyway without making the video overly long or, or boring to any of you that's kind of the capper in a nutshell it's a great fuzz pedal it's one that I've had a little bit I've been playing with it a good bit we're, we're powering this with the voodoo labs pedal power too and she uses a center negative uh, ball style uh, terminal so pretty simple there and uh, quality and components of the pedal seem to be pretty, you know, well made, as, as good as a fuss pedal can be, I guess. They are relatively simple pedals, really, uh, in the big scheme of things. I think the sounds that this pedal gives, in terms of how just awesome they sound, really does come down to the selection of components that they use. Um, there are a lot of different fuzzes out there, um, and in terms of the things that they do, um, it really does have a lot to do with how they select those components and... Not only, I mean, it can come down to like the style of wiring they use, the type of solder they use. Those can affect the sound of the pedal some. 
uh, but more importantly, you know, the values of certain, ca uh, like, I guess, resistors and certain components and, and just all the little guts they put in the pedal can really give some uh, variances to the tone. Using new old stock components, you know, old school stuff back from the 70s can really give it that kind of 70s sound. And, and really, I mean, that's what they used originally. So using the older school components can really do that. Not sure that's what they did here, but it has a wonderful sound and they did a great job with this pedal. And um, I've played a lot of fuzz pedals and, and this one's definitely uh, near the top. Uh, let's see, I didn't really let you hear the strap just straight through the amp. I'll let you hear that. <laughs> Capred. go guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video i know i made some flubs and mistakes but you know what we're human i'm not perfect uh but i i think it's a cool pedal i enjoy playing on it i'm not a perfect guitarist by any stretch of the imagination but i do enjoy this kind of stuff and i like jamming on these things and see what kind of different sounds we can get so guys hopefully you enjoyed uh this video today let me know what you think you want to see more of this stuff uh let me know uh, I, I tried to choose somewhat music selections that maybe people would recognize some of the, uh, the sounds that we're getting out of the out of the effect and everything like that but um guys appreciate uh, all the support stay tuned we got many more on the way we post these videos on mondays and fridays plenty of more stuff coming down the pipeline uh thanks so much for watching today we'll see you next time mm -hmm.